and straighten you just a little bit here. Okay, I think we got it. I have my one sheet of pie crust here that I had let defrost. I'm not defrost, but soften. It was this one wanted to break a lot when you open it. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. <laughs> So, I have it on some parchment paper so that I'll be able to move it to a cookie sheet when I'm ready. My oven is being preheated to 375. Okay? In this bowl, I have three tablespoons of butter that I have softened. I'm going to add one third of a cup. of packed brown sugar. And two thirds of a cup of pecan chips. If you don't like pecans, you can use walnuts. But it does call for nuts which means that my son won't eat it. And that's all you have to have for the inside ingredients. So let me just see if I can move this a tiny bit. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll move the camera this way for a minute. So you can see in here, I'm going to mix these together. And you really just got to keep going around and around until you get that butter all mixed in. here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it over half of this pie crust. And it says to sprinkle it, so let's see if we can sprinkle it. It's a good bit of filling. And you want to leave about, oh, three quarters of an inch around the edge. Get up a little closer. There we go. And I have a little bit of water here that I forgot to bring over. And I'm just going to put a little water along the edge of the crust here. It helps it to seal. I'll fold this one over the filling. Now I'm going to move this to a cookie sheet, and I've already, but before I do, I think I'll do this here. I'm going to take a fork, and I'm just going to crimp the edges together.
we've made a great big turnover. Now I'm going to move it, hopefully. This little piece over here wanted to break. What I'm going to do is put a little water on my finger and push it together. And I'm going to prick the top with the fork. And there you go. I'm going to put this in the oven and it's going to cook for 17 to 22 minutes. And I will show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. How simple was that? Back in a bit. Uh, here it is right out of the oven. I broke it a little bit when I was taking it out, but it won't affect the taste. <laughs> um, it needs to cool almost completely so that I can put a little glaze on the top of it. So as soon as it has cooled enough to do that, I will be back with you. See you in a few. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of a glaze. This is just some powdered sugar, a little bit of vanilla, and some milk to make it whatever consistency you like. Might as well put it all. And then, optional, but I'm going to just sprinkle a few more pecans on the top. Okay. Is that, huh? Pretty. Okay, I'm going to see if I can cut a piece. Hold on a second. It's, it, the shadow is something else here right now. Okay, there we go. And you can see inside all that nice filling. And I have one here. This is the one that broke, so I'll see if I can get a taste test for you. Edge fell off. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And you see? Boy, those Danes really know how to make a crinkle. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. So you got to try this one. How, how easy that was. I'll talk in a minute. <laughs> You have to try that one. It is so good. So I will see you again Thursday. We're going to do one more. St. Patrick's Day Dollar Tree Project. So I'll see you then on Thursday. Until then, hope you all have a great day. Morning, noon, night, whatever time of day it is you're watching this. Uh, today is Monday. And... President's Day in the United States, 
and the day, Daytona 500 will be on this afternoon because it was postponed from yesterday. And truthfully, I won't be there to watch it. I'll go in the craft room because all they do is go around in a circle. So anyway, I will see you on Thursday, and until then, have a great day. And everybody, play nice now. Love you. Bye-bye.